I rebuilt the carb on this old Tillotson. Everybody hates those Tillotsons, but they're a good carburetor. Uh, if you rebuild them and you run them a couple times during the summer, they'll always keep going for you. Sometimes you gotta tap on them a little bit to loosen up the needle. That line right there has a uh, Makuni carburetor on it. And you know what, sometimes they can be a real bugger uh, as well. But a lot of guys try to take the Tillotsons off to put the Makunis on and then they find that, hey, you know what, I can't make it work right. There's nothing wrong with these. If you use the proper rebuild kits, uh, they're awesome. You can check out EC Carburetors online. I'll put a link in the description. They have all brand new tilts and parts for these, not those aftermarket kits that come from whoever knows where and they never work, you know, they're just not good. The needles are bad. Most of the time there's check valves in these uh, underneath the little welch plugs. They get stuck, nothing really works well. The pumps are poor, the needle and seats are junk. It just doesn't work. So anyway, I rebuilt this one uh, really quickly. I didn't use my ultrasonic cleaner because it was broken, but uh, right now it's just not running right. It's not starting right. It's not um, idling right. So I'm gonna see if I can set it up. This older type has a high and a low speed jet on it that's manual. Um, some of them have the low speed that you can just manipulate by hand and they have a fixed main jet so you never really have to worry about those. So for the low speed jet, I'm going to show that to you here in a second. For the low speed jet, you're going to want to turn it out until it gets the highest RPM, then it's going to start to choke and it's going to start to die. I shouldn't say choke, but it's going to start to sputter and it's going to start to die. Then you bring it to the highest RPM and then turn it in about barely a quarter of a turn. That way it's not going to run too lean on you and you're not going to burn something out. So it should start easier. Who knows? I might have to rebuild it again, but you know, I don't think I will have to. So for the high speed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it wide open. I'm going to turn it out until it gets the, the highest RPM just by ear that I can hear. And then it's going to start to die. Then I'm going to bring it into the highest RPM and then screw it back in counter. Then screw it back in clockwise about another quarter of a turn. So again, it's not running too, too lean. Let's try that. Let's see if it starts. I put this recoil on. I thought it was a good one. And uh, <laughs> I pulled it. I got about this much of a pull on it. So I have about a foot. One turn of the scroll. That's a low speed, that's your high speed. So you go to factory settings on both of those and then that's where you need to adjust. Factory settings on these really old carbs don't mean a whole lot, but at least it's a good starting point.
Now that's a two ninety nine a land. We'll give you the rundown on it. Well, it's not two ninety nine a land. It's a two fifty a land. It's a nineteen seventy one. I like the old ones, the seventy ones, because they're about twenty five pounds lighter than the seventy twos and up, depending on the the middle of the year. And that's because the chassis are a lot weaker. They're about half the amount of metal in them, it seems. And they bend and break really easy. This one's all cracked all over the place and I weld it up. But it's still lighter. And the motor went on it. So I put this 299 out of Olympic in it. And it just bolted right in and it's good to go. A lot of the 299s, the older ones, they have both carburetor settings on them. So that's what's going on there. New track a few years ago. But she's a beast. This is the one I was riding the other day with no skis on it. I put the Kimpex ski skins on it, and I've got a Comet clutch on it, Comet duster. So it's an unstoppable little beast in the bush. I love this sled. It's, uh, it's the Yellow Bomber. It's the Yellow Bomber. Thanks for joining me.